Hi guys, I'm doing back-to-back -back videos today um, since Easter is on Sunday and I had a couple other ideas. Actually, I always have more ideas, but I never have time to try them. So these two ideas I'm doing, I've never done before. So I'm just going to do them real quick on video. So hopefully they go well and there's no disaster. Um, and maybe you'll have something um, cute to do for Easter. Um, they're really simple. I'm sure you've seen a an Easter basket cake pop, and I'm sure you've seen a chick cake pop, but I'm going to use my My Little Cake Pop mold again. Um, I'm doing a full body chick for this one. You saw me make the chick body in my last video. And for the basket, I'm going to use the cupcake shape mold. So, again, I'm just going to take some cake pop dough, roll it up real smooth, stick it into the mold, and close that up. Let the excess come out. And you can hand shape a basket, but I just thought I have these, I want to use them. That's why um, a lot of things I'm trying to do do use the molds. If I have something, I want to use it. If I buy something, I want to get my use out of it. So, I mean, anything you could think of doing, you can use a mold for instead of hand shaping. And if you're a good hand shaper, you're awesome. So I'm just going to pick a little bit off. So yeah, it looks like a cute little cupcake. I love these as the cupcake itself. It's adorable. But let's stick a stick in it and turn it into an Easter basket. Oops. So now I'm going to use my Merkin Super White for my basket because I'm going to use fondant for the handle and I'm going to want to kind of match the handle and the, the body as best as I can. I'm gonna give this a little pat real quick, some of this. So stick your stick right in the center. And while that's drying, we're gonna start our chick. I realize I went back and forth a lot between these two on my last video, but normally when you're doing cake pops, you're always doing one thing on one and the next thing on the other. And you're like kind of following your own pattern. So hopefully I didn't confuse anybody. So what I'm gonna do now is just put this down and let the seal dry on it and do our chick. For the chick, the full body chick, I want her to have wings. So I have a candy melt that I'm gonna cut in half. And also she's gonna get a double dip. So you're just gonna cut this right in half. Just like that. So you have two little wings. I'm gonna dip her once in the yellow and after that I'm gonna put her wings on. So give her a good dip. So obviously I'm not going to cover her with sugar right now because I, I like the covering with sugar because it gives her a cute fluffy look. Pop your holes. <laughs> that bird sounds crazy. Okay, tap it all off. We're not going to put anything but the wings on her right now. And we're going to let that dry. She's got a nice bubble by her neck. Pat. Alright, and before she dries, let's get her wings on. So I'm just going to clean up the bottom. And she's going to be double dipped, a double coated in sugar chick. Somebody's going to Love that. So, we're just going to, oh, you guys need to move. So you're just going to put her wings, I like to do the round side down, and we're going to kind of not make them, we're going to kind of diagonal them. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to hold these on until they're dry. Or just about dry so that they're not falling off and they are see what I did they're kind of like on an angle just like that when she's double dipped obviously you're not going to see all that stuff on there all the choppiness now let's dip our cupcake because this is going to need to dry the seals dry all that off. 
I like the cupcake for the basket because it has kind of like three layers. It has a top and then like a midsection and then the bottom is a nice big basket looking section. So for the midsection you can put your bow and for the top you can put whatever you like to put in your Easter basket. I don't all I have today are jelly beans, so I'm gonna use the jelly beans, but you can use any of the Hershey's eggs that more look, look more like Easter eggs. You could put sprinkles, make it look like a bunch of little different candies. Whatever you want to do. I'm gonna let this dry. Okay, that's gonna dry. While that's drying, I'm going to pause for a second and run to get my bows that I left in the freezer. Okay, I'm back with my bows and I used again my Martha Stewart mold and I used the other two cavities. I used the ones with kind of like the ribbon coming down. I have a little plan for my chick. I'm not sure if it's going to work or how it's going to come out. So this is why I need the white bow. But I want to use the pink bow, and you want to very carefully pull the sides away from the mold when you take it out. You don't want to just kind of twist it and try to pop it out right away, because then they can break. So I like to pull all the sides away as much as possible like that. And then, and even bend it like that. Because they can break. Now this, I'm going to hold it down. This one loves to break. This white one right here. So I have a white one that I'm going to try to use on my chick. We'll see how that goes. And then I have the pink one for the basket, which I'm going to put on the front of my basket when we're all done. So hopefully this chick is ready to be dipped again. And after we dip her this time, we're going to put her sugar on. She's ready. It looks cute already. This would even make a cute little duck. You could kind of shape the back end if you want to for a duck. Or put something on the back end. Pop on your bubbles. Pat off everything because you really want to make sure you can get off as much as possible before it dries to put your sugars on. And we're just going to do the sugars just like we did last video. Just going to put, pour them all the way over. And now I just noticed some air bubbles and usually your, your sugaring or your um, sprinkling will pop those for you. So don't panic if you see an air bubble before you while you're doing this. She is a cutie already. So So there she is. She's a fat little mama chick. And I realize, I mean, chicks can't be mamas, but you know, we can just pretend. Because I'm going to Try and put a little apron on her so she's ready for Easter dinner. So let her dry for a minute. What I'm going to do for her, too, is rather than making a bow, a, a bow we're just going to do the old-fashioned bow. Lily, leave. You can't be here. Leave. So that means we're going to take two little heart-shaped sprinkles, and we're going to glue them on with our chocolate and make a nice little mama bow on the top of her head. So just take a little bit of your chocolate, put it across her head like that. And then you're going to take your sprinkles with the points facing each other, just like that, and stick them on top. And what's cool about today is that doing this and she's still her candy's still a little soft but normally that's not 
a good thing. So now I was able to get her bell right on top of her head um, without holding it too long. Then we're going to take a little confetti sprinkle and put that right in the middle for the little center of the bell. Lily, no, no. Get out of here. No, no. Go over there. So, there's her bell. We'll get a close-up of that when we're done. It's your little mama bell. And if this was going to be... Actually, I'm going to sprinkle a little more sugar over that because I see what it looks like. Ah, it's falling. I can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. Stand it back up and fix it. I'd rather just cover it with sugar than have a bald spot of candy without sugar. There. It's fixed. Alright, so now let's just put her beak on. And she's pretty much done except for the apron I want to put on her. And our cupcake is still wet. It's taking forever. Sometimes the white does that. I noticed that the fastest one to dry is always the chocolate. Chocolate dries the fastest. I don't know why. I mean milk chocolate. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this, put it on my beak, and stick it right on the front of her. Hold that for a minute. Okay, now her beak's on. All we need are her eyes. And while we're waiting for her, for this cupcake to dry, and for her beak to dry, I'm going to take some more of that fondant I had earlier. And I'm going to try to make a cute little apron for her. It kind of looks like cheese right now. Because I rolled it out real quick. So, to make her apron, I have my little cutter here. It's a little square with scalloped kind of edges. I'm just going to press down in the fondant. Pop it out. And there's a little apron. How cute. Then I'm just going to take some... Lily, get out of here! No! Lily, you want to go in the crate? You want to go in the crate. Get right back. Lily, go! Go! Get! No! Alright, she never bothers me. You shall leave. Okay. So, let's take the knife and make a nice little piece of fondant to wrap around her apron to tie in the back. What I'm going to do too is roll it out just a little more so that we can get a little bit more length out of it. See? That made it a little longer. to go around her. There. Uh oh, I just touched my cupcake. Oh man. Okay. There, okay. See, I, don't, I never know what I'm doing with fondant. I go crazy. All right, cupcake, what is taking you so long? Hmm. All right, so let's put on her eyeballs. Black again, just like last video. For this crazy little girl. Then another one. I mean, you don't, you don't have to do eyelashes on her. I am not going to do it on this one. But I think it's cute to do them. No, no. Get. <laughs> Lily's visiting. Normally I'd have a gate on the room. But I thought she was going to behave herself. Okay, so now we put her eyeballs on. She, she could be cute just like this. A full-bodied chick. She's ready to be served. But again, let's complicate things and put a little apron on her. I'm going to cut one of the edges off so that it's not showing up when we put our apron on, so. So 
just kind of like that. So you got a flat side. So she's going to have to kind of lay down a little bit so that I could put some chocolate across her belly. So I'm just going to take my toothpick and lay some chocolate across her belly just like that and then quickly lay down the apron so that it starts to stick. And this is kind of a thick apron. Boy, I didn't have to make it so thick. Whatever. She is a mama chick. And I know mama chicks are really chickens, but chickens aren't very pretty for Easter, right? I mean, we don't see chickens running around, we see chicks. Okay. Let that dry. Do you see how the little apron went on? We're going to let that dry a minute and get ready to do what in the world? Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, the temperature in here today is insane. <laughs> Lily's just sitting on the couch. Okay, are you ready, miss? Let's put this all the way around. So now we're wrapping around our apron. Our apron, well first, let's put some on the front, just in case, you never know. You never know if the front's gonna slip up. We don't wanna slip up. So all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of white across I just put a little bit of white across the front, white chocolate, so that when her apron, her apron tie goes down, it's not going to slip off the front and give us a problem. And so I, you, no, no. that's it. Hold on. Okay, Lily has left the room. So. We were just putting some glue across the front. And now we're going to bring it around to the back with some more chocolate. We're going to take a little bit. Let me bring this over here. Take a little bit of. Oh man. A little bit here. Just like that. And a little bit on this side. That's making a mess. What else is new? There. All right, stay there just a minute. Oh, she is so funny looking. Oh, you know. So, the back of her apron's drying. Let's put a little heart on the front. Let's do a purple. Just stick a little heart decoration on the front. Actually, let's put two. So we got a little dab of candy melts to glue on our hearts. I'm gonna do a purple and a blue. Okay. Boy, this is a messy day. All right, then we're gonna glue on her bow, like I said, I, I made this bow if we got to this point in the video to make an apron for the chick. We haven't even started the, um, well, we started, we dipped the Easter basket, but hopefully that goes better than this. Well, you never know with me. Now you're just going to stick it on. Now, I realize this is a crazy, very detailed cake pop, but it's fun. And if you want to make just one and then make the rest basics. I do that a lot. You want like one little piece that stands out. So just hold that on until it's dry. 
And there's her apron all tied in the back. And there's her front. Now this cupcake is definitely ready to move on. So next we're going to dip it into the green. Oh no, where's the green? Be right back. Okay, back with the green. But I forgot, of course. So what we're going to do is take a little dip into the green. And then we're going to use some green jimmies that I have here to sprinkle for grass and also some larger sugars, green sugars for the grass. So a quick dip of the top. You can see there's like three layers. There's a very top and like a midsection and then this is your basket. So you want to try to keep it on top as much as possible and not go too far past the midsection or the, the top section because what going to happen is these sprinkles, so I dipped it, these sprinkles are going to probably push down the green a little bit, so give it a good tap like that, so now we have a little bit going on up there, we're going to sprinkle some grass, and then I like the little sparkly effect, so I'm just going to kind of plunge this into my sugars so that it gets a lot of green sparkly sugars. I mean, I really kind of covered up all the jimmies just now. And now, but this looks like real Easter grass. Now you're just going to take your jelly beans and you're going to stick them in while, all right, that's not really going to work because the, the sugars really just kind of covered up everything. Take some green, make three little piles for you to stick your jelly beans on. Even while it's still wet, you can do that. Put your jelly beans in. Now these are, whoa! <laughs> kind of like your eggs. Ah, okay, how cute. Okay, okay. There, give them a good press. Now they're sitting on top of your Easter basket, just like that. So let that dry, and while that's drying, we're gonna make a little handle with some fondant. Have I ever done this before? No. So let's see how frustrated I can get doing this. So again, take the fondant. I had some fondant over here. We're done with our yellow. We're done with our green. We're done with our black. We're done. Yeah, with that, that's enough. It's enough getting stuff out of the way. So, take your white fondant again. I have another whole piece here. And I kind of want like, maybe a braided look for the, for the handle. So I'm just gonna cut two strips of fondant for the handle. And I'm gonna kind of roll it like this because it was just kind of flat before. Oh, I'm gonna roll it. Make it like twistable. Not braiding it, twisting it. So it's kind of looking like spaghetti. You're back? No, mommy didn't call you. Go back, go lay down. <laughs> go lay down, okay. So this one's pretty okay. Actually, what I'm gonna do is give it a little roll on the um, table. Wow, I really made a mess. Give it a little roll on the table like this. Lily? You're gonna go in the crate. You better go. Mommy's gonna get the gate. Mommy can't do this without gates. Okay, I'm gonna get it going in my hands and then roll it out onto the table. Roll it in your hand like this. And the best thing that I could have done is to do this last night so that I could try to shape it so that it goes over well 
kind of stands up, you know, dried out over the basket. We want it kind of dried out so that it stands up. And I have a feeling that's not going to happen today. So I'm just going to take this and just twist. Just like, oh, that's not working. I'm going to twist, twist. better to do it down here. Actually, the thicker parts are easier to twist. I had very thin parts. Good thing I made it extra long. And I just thought, oh, that's a little too thick. Well, guess what? It needs to be. So, how boring is this? We're doing this. We're twisting. Maybe you already know how to do this. Maybe you're just screaming at me, like, right now, being like, no, don't do it like that. Do it this way. Hey. Hey, that's pretty okay. For this. Just like that. Okay. So, let's cut it off. Let's give it, there we go. So now we have this nice, oh no, it's coming nice twisted. What I'm gonna do to try and make it a little firm, if you're like having no time like me right now and you're wanting this basket to stand up, this basket handle, just secure it with some chocolate. So, on the back of it, you would just take a little bit like this and just make a nice line. Just outline it with chocolate. Because the chocolate's going to dry and get hardened, so that'll be like it's kind of like it's frame to hold it up. So we are outlining this with chocolate and we're going to put this on the back side. I mean, it's not going to be hideous, but if you're out of time, it's going to help. So also, like I said, do this the night before. Twist, make your little twisty, your little twists the night before. And let it dry. So that, and obviously you want to let it dry in the, in the curved shape. See how that's twisted and you want to let it dry in the curved shape so that it's ready for, for the next day. While that's drying, we're going to make some lines on our basket to make it look more like a basket. You can use a piping bag if you want to pipe this. Going all the way around once, made an outline for the midsection. Probably go around maybe two more times just to give it a little basket weave look. So now I'm on the middle. This is very runny, which is good in a way when you want it to be but always for piping white is always so runny for me especially the merkin super white so now i've gone around the middle i'm going to do one more row around and then we're going to do some lines that kind of go up and down so that it's weavy looking okay there's that. And this is just the little ugly tail from when I hit my cake pop. I'm going to scrape off. You know, I kind of want this to dry before I start doing the up and down. 
So let that sit there for a minute and let's check out our handle, see if that's that worked. Well, that's not dry either yet, so let's let this get dry, but I promise this is going to work because I've done this before with certain things that just kind of need a little extra support. You just put a little bit of chocolate on it, whether it's a Tootsie Roll or fondant. There. You too. Give it a little wave to dry. Our eggs are good. Let's just start doing our basket weave. You don't have to do this if you're like, I just don't have time. You don't have to make it look like this. You don't have to. I always like to torture myself and do more. I don't know why. And then I scream and complain the whole time. Why can't I just keep it simple? I don't know. Could also do fondant. Just torture yourself even more. Make a bunch of strips of fondant. So, just go all the way around making nice straight lines. Just like that. done this the handle should definitely be dry and then once we put the handle on then we can put our bow on the pink bow I made just keep going like that all the way around almost done but again one little cake pop like this can take a long time especially for me I just take forever doing stuff mm. okay so now our, our basket looks like a basket pop it in there for a second let's see are you done yep no. Ah, touch it with a toothpick. Okay. Let me touch it with a toothpick and see. Because I don't want to touch it with my hand. Are you kidding me? It's still wet. Hmm. Let's pick it up. Let's try to pick it up. Wow. It kind of looks like a set of dentures or a retainer. Come on, it's taking forever to dry. This is life. This is how it always happens. You know what you could do? That would be really cute. See how I am? I'm always thinking, oh, Torture! I could throw this in some sugar. That'll be a sparkly handle. Oh my gosh. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Just stop. Just stop. No, we're not doing that. No, no. I control myself. We're not doing it. But you are going to dry, and you're going to dry now. Oh, you're not? I wonder what would happen if I pause this video again. Okay, it looks like the handle is dry and ready to cooperate. So, actually, let me pick it up with this toothpick. Hopefully, this fits pretty good over our basket. Yeah, it's good. We just want it to go on just like that. 
I'm gonna press it like that, but then I'm gonna go over, oh, that's because it's not secured with chocolate yet. So I'm gonna take a little dab of chocolate for right here. Put that. Oh, come on. Fondant is not always fun. Don't be fooled. Okay. But it's necessary. A little bit here. This definitely worked. If, like I said, you don't have time to dry your piece of handle, just line it with some chocolate because now it is standing up just like I want it to. And you just need to kind of hold that in, in the spot until it dries. And then I would even go over it a little bit more on See, it's still wiggling a little bit. You don't want this handle to go anywhere but in somebody's mouth. So what I did is I took Actually, I'm going to show you when it's dry so it doesn't fall off. I'm putting some extra chocolate at the base of the handle where it's um, secured on the midsection of the basket. And we know how long this chocolate's taken to dry today. It's taken forever. But this is just so that it doesn't try to come off because sometimes you need a little bit more to secure it. So I put that on and while it's drying, eh, I'm going to sneak over towards you. You can see there at that base where I put a little bit more, but even still the, 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 the whole handle is sticking straight up because of the extra chocolate I put on. Now what we're going to do is just put this little bow right here. And we're done. Really took how many times for me to pause and start over and pause and start over. All right, well I didn't have to start over. I just had to turn the video back on, but what a crazy video. Put just a little on right in the center to stick your bow right in the center. And instead of holding it with your hands, see how I, you have to hold it. I'm going to take a toothpick and hold it because the heat today, and you don't want to lay it down because you can see that my handle is starting to move. Oh, the joys of spring and summer and cake popping, right? All right, really? All right, you know what? This is what the cake pop stand is for. Put that down, hold that there, fix you. So if somebody wanted to see the tortures of cake popping and why you charge so much, they can watch this video. I mean, this is my first time making the basket, so Will I be quicker next time? I don't think so, but it just takes a lot of detail and patience. Okay. And if you wanted to, I'm not doing it, obviously, I still have time. You can take the pink candy mouse that you used to make your bow and kind of pipe all the way around if you wanted to. I'm not doing it. 
I'm controlling myself on this one. But here you go, it's pretty much finished. It's still drying. We have the mama chick and the Easter basket that the Easter bunnies bring in. All done. Thanks for watching.